Hi John, yes. Um, I'm thinking back now to 2001 when I was rushed into hospital uh, for an urgent operation and I happened to be in America at the time at a hospital in Flagstaff, Arizona. And at that time I was in enormous amount of pain and I just prayed to the Lord that that pain would go away. Well, it did, because they put me under anaesthetic. But when I came round again, I just had a presence of peace. I was also concerned about Pam, who I knew was somewhere around in the hospital. And she wasn't with me when I came round, but she did turn up eventually. And for both of us, there was a, there was a peace, which I can't really explain, but it came from the Lord. And uh, yes, I survived that operation, 16 days in the hospital, and eventually flew back home and just gave thanks that the Lord had got me through that situation. Well, it may seem crazy, but some years ago, Neil and I were in Austria, and we'd walked probably about eight miles, and we'd come down into the valley to go back on the bus, and we'd missed the last bus, gone hours ago. And I was absolutely finished, so I said to Neil, I'm gonna ask the Lord for a bus. So I did, I just stood there and said, Lord, I need a bus, I'm finished. And there was a, I sat down at a bus stop, and Neil said, don't sit there, Dorothy, there's no bus coming. And a little old Austrian lady went by in typical Austrian dress and went back and forward three times. And in the end, I said to her, we're English, can, can we help you? And she said, oh no, I live here. And she said, I'm amazed, I'm absolutely amazed. This bus stop was not here this morning. And after she walked on, a bus pulled up. So Neil and I got on it. And would you believe it dropped us right next to our hotel and nobody else got on it for the full journey. I have no explanation, but I believe it was an answer to prayer. The boldest prayer I feel that I've ever prayed was lifting uh, my mum to the Lord. She'd been diagnosed with non-Hodgkinson's disease. She'd only been given six months to live. And one day, while in the Salvation Army in Peel, I felt the need to pray. And with tears streaming down my face, I lifted her to the Lord, asking Him, in my boldness to either heal her or to take her to be with himself. It was quite a traumatic time, but I felt then as I prayed, the lightness of spirit and the heavy weight that I had on my shoulders was lifted. And I knew then that the Lord was in control. Six weeks later, my mother went into hospital for another lymphogram and they couldn't find a trace of cancer in her body. So in my boldness, the Lord blessed and answered the prayer. She continued to have uh, checkups for the next 10 years and then she was discharged and this was all 40 years ago, but it still has the effect of, of making me realize just how boldness in prayer can bring relief, healing, but also closer to our Lord Jesus Christ. Well, the one that springs to mind, among quite a few actually, is when a member of our home group many, many years ago was out of work and desperately needed to be in work. And so, in not so many words, I said, come on God, this guy needs a job. And next week, he was back in work. 